Hey there YouTube, it's Mickey P here and this is a slightly different format video but I've just got this absolutely huge set of PC games and boxes from a guy on eBay and I thought I'd show off what we got in this huge box and yeah, so I figure I can just shoot this with my phone and yeah, so we've got Heroes of Might and Magic 1, 2, and 3 this is probably one of the less exciting things here because it's just the uh, budget of all these three games in a box but yeah it's cool wing commander prophecy this was and i i did have the game originally as a budget release but yeah it's kind of a pretty i think it was a bit controversial at the time because you weren't playing as mark hamill anymore but i actually thought it was pretty fun and it's really cool to have the four original box Callahan's Cross Time Saloon. I have no idea what this game is really about, but I have heard of it. And that'll be interesting. It says it's got a free strategy guide. I have no idea if that's still there or not, but we'll find out. Load Runner. Classic game. Original version. Apparently this is five and a quarter inch disc that you actually need to be able to boot off to play it. So... Not sure if I'll be able to get that working, but it's really cool to have anyway. Um, this is called Clyde's Adventure. I have no idea what it is. I think it's some sort of shareware game from the days when you would buy shareware games packaged up in a little package like this in a shop for like a few bucks. I got quite a few games myself that way, like early Jazz Jackrabbits and stuff like that. Quake. Genuine classic game. This is just the Platinum release, but it's good enough for me. I mostly wanted this on the original CD version so that I could have the um, Trent Reznor music. Because the download versions are missing that for some stupid reason. Magic Carpet 2. What I didn't know about this is it came in this absolutely bizarre box. It's like kind of a transparent slide-off thing. And then manual and discs and stuff underneath that. Bizarre, but cool. Relentless Twinsid's Adventure, better known as Little Big Adventure. Never played this much. I played the sequel a bit, Little Big Adventure 2. I mean, this is a classics release, but still cool. Twilight 2000. Never heard of this at all. It's some sort of 3D tank simulator? Wing Commander 4, Prize of Freedom. Actually already have this one, but hey, now I've got a spare or something that I can give to a friend. Mean Streets. This is the first Tex Murphy game. Only real experience I've had with Tex Murphy is the Kickstarter game Tesla Effect. So it was kind of a very cheesy FMV type thing. I think the first few games kind of predate FMV because floppy disks. So I don't know much about this game, except that it used that strange technology where you could get actual sound out of a PC speaker. But yeah, kind of interesting box opens up at the front, seems to have a lot of material here. That's cool, and the end, King's Quest Collection Series, which also includes several non-King's Quest games, i.e. the Laura Bow games mixed up Mother Goose. This... It's more just nice to have because it's convenient. Because, I mean, I've got all the King's Quest games, or at least all the ones that matter, but they're all... Uh, most of them are on floppy disks, which means you have trouble with weird disk formats, drives that die, because I've had drives dying, disks that die, disks that kill any drive that you put them in. Funny story about my King's Quest 1 disk. Um, and even if you can get it get the data off it you've still got to worry about some of the early ones have disk based copy protection which is very hard to emulate but this has them all on cd and that's a much more convenient format anyway i think that's everything in this pile this is a incredible haul he also the guy on ebay threw in a couple of extra just empty boxes with where he didn't have the discs for them so i might have to look through those as well see if there's anything i can cobble together but yeah this is one epic haul i'm really happy to have all this and it's really cool so i've been mickey p and thanks for watching